So let's get into operators and expressions. And I'm going to I'm going to give you a little math quiz here. Don't panic. Won't be super hard. But let's let's do some math with operators. Okay, so the operator that you are most familiar with so far is called the assignment operator. Basically, it says make something equal to something else. Make x, the variable x, equal to 3. So when I do this, x is now equal to 3. We also have the addition operator, which says, and combined with the assignment operator, x is equal to 3 plus 1. What is x equal? Come on, math whizzes. 4, right? 4. We have subtraction. What is x equal? 2. Yeah, you're getting it now. We got some momentum. We're getting hard now. Multiplication. Is this what you're used to seeing for multiplication? Probably not, unless you've done some other coding. This is the asterisk is what we use for multiplication. We can't use x because it's it's a variable name, and we can't use a dot because it is a, a decimal point. <laughs> so, and it's also used for dot notation when we when we use uh, an object's methods or class or um, or properties. So we have to use the asterisk. Multiplication, x is equal to what? Right here. Six. Yeah, good. And then we have division, which looks like this. So that reads x is 9 divided by 3. And that would be equal to 3. Okay, so those are easy. Easy, easy operators. This is what an exponent looks like. That reads x equals 2 to the power of 4. So x times x, I mean 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or, what's the answer? 16. Okay, so exponents look like two asterisks together, no spaces between them.